Hey, let's have a quick chat about COVID payments and the bank stance on the COVID payments. So yeah. your employer is taking the COVID payment. Um, yeah, that's yeah, so that's, I, yeah. I'll talk you through. Look, we're yeah. we're we're dealing with everybody, all our clients, both new and existing, uh, with the COVID payments. It's all brand new to everybody, so everyone's kind of readjusting that and seeing how what the lie of the land is. But we, you can get approval with a COVID payment. You can draw down with a COVID payment. Right. But I think we have to kind of roll back into why why are you in receipt of COVID payment? Uh, like, you know, do you work at a bar and now you've no income and you're getting a COVID payment, or your employer's receiving subsidy uh, because the business turnover is down? So. There's a valid reason why uh, you're in receipt of a COVID payment, and that then brings an element of risk. And I think right, that's the. So, so I'm saying that then, if sorry to go across you, I'm saying that this yeah. is really a case by case basis for the underwriting department. Yeah, yes, I, I, yeah, I don't like saying case by case because it's a bit no, wishy washy, you know. Yeah. Um, but let's look at it, the overall picture. So if, if you're on receipt, there's a risk to your job, and you're looking yeah. at a 30 year mortgage, and we need to show income sustainability over the whole life of the of the loan. And I think that's what we're, we're faced into. And it's. Some, some sectors have been hit really hard, like you talk maybe January and February, you, you get an airline pilot and they're an ideal client. And now you come four months later and, you know, unfortunately not. Yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's a bit scary. But in fairness, I think we have to give a shout out to the central bank here. Um, you know, from a complaint, like the last time we had this problem in Ireland, was kind of a big recession, obviously. Was yeah. The financial crisis. And the banks got absolutely hammered for not having proven, proven lending. Uh, so you can't blame them for putting those control functions in place Crazy. as per and fair central banks done a really good job of keeping property prices and you know the three point five. I know they're very annoying for people and they're frustrating for people because it's an emotional purchase. But they are from Dublin, a yeah. systematic point of view as well. It's not just about what's happening in your little bubble if you're trying to buy your house. Uh, yeah. But uh, okay, so you're saying that they will, so you will look at them if you are a call of yeah. and if your employer is bringing it in or taking the subsidy. Uh, and I know it is wishy washy and uh, people hate that, but it really is as opposed down to that case. Yeah, case. What, you, what you'd like to see now is yeah, people coming off this, so businesses coming out, lockdown, easing, and stuff like that. But I, I see the bigger issue in terms of COVID is on the overall mortgage applications and not just relating to receiving COVID payment. I think okay. the bigger impact is on it's no longer good enough for you to come along now with a, a salary certificate and three pay slips. Right. Now there's, there's due diligence done on your sector, your employer, the impact of a further lockdown, the impact of social distancing on your business if you're self-employed. So all these now are much more of an impact on your mortgage application than, say, a COVID payment. It, it's causing a bigger, a bigger overall uh, problem okay. going forward. Right. Brilliant. OK, very good. But look, Ferris, thanks for the bluntness in that, because I think that's something people need to hear. Uh, and you know I'd be involved in various different Facebook groups and obviously we run our own Facebook and Instagram pages and that's something we get asked all the time but you, you, you uh, you're sometimes afraid to deliver the bad news to people really aren't you because obviously yeah. as I said the emotional piece but thanks for the, the, the bluntness and being so fun with it 